Steph, welcome to Arsenal. Firstly, how does it feel to finally become a Gunner? Oh, thank you very much. It feels amazing. Um, it's something that I've been looking forward to for a long time and a place that I've imagined myself playing for a long time too. So I'm so excited that it's finally done and to get started too. You've proven yourself on the international stage and in the W League and NWSL too, but this will be your first taste of European football. What was it about Arsenal that really appealed to you? Um, well, for a long time, I've watched the team and their success. Um, but for me, the, the specific way that they play, the way they keep the ball, it's an attacking brand of football. Um, when you watch their games, they're always exciting and they're a fun team to watch. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, that drew me initially. And obviously, I've, I've worked with Joe before, so I know how he likes to play football. And um, yeah, that was a big drawing card for me too. How did you feel when you first heard that Arsenal wanted to sign you? How did that interest come about? Yeah, um, well, I've been talking to Joe for a while, to be honest. Um, he's kind of tried to get me over a few times and I've been in contract with my American clubs. and It just hasn't been the right time. So um, just obviously recently, uh, it was the right time and he luckily was still interested and still wanted me to come over. So... Um, yeah, honestly, it was just excitement that finally everything had kind of worked out for the right timing and I got to come to one of the best clubs in the world. And over the past two and a half years, Joe Montemaro has returned this club back to where it belongs, challenging for titles, cup finals on a yearly basis. And as you say there, you've already had plenty of discussions together. So what did he say to kind of convince you that Arsenal was the right place for your development? Yeah, I mean, honestly, he didn't have to say much. He told me a lot about, you know, the inner workings of the club and their philosophies. And um, obviously, as I said, I, I sort of am aware of the way that he plays. So he, it didn't really take much for him to, to get me over the line. Um, as I said, it was more of a timing thing. So, uh, you know, based on the way that they play and I've heard so many amazing things about the club as a whole. And, um, you know, it sounds like a club that really is is sort of, equal with their men's and their women's team um, so it's just got sort of everything that I'm looking for in, in a football club so I'm excited to come over. And you obviously mentioned there as well you had the pleasure of working with Joe at Melbourne Victory and Melbourne City so what do you remember from that period? Did his coaching leave a lasting impression on you? Yeah absolutely I mean I'm following him halfway across the world now in a sense um, but for me Joe's just very good at player managing so he really understands an individual for what they bring to a team but also what their life is off the field and really likes to harness that and sort of get the, mo the most out of the person as well as the player so I've always appreciated that about him and obviously I love um, his playing philosophy as well and um, you know possession based and attacking football so uh, yeah I'm really excited to work with him again. Of course, we've already got one of your international teammates in, in Caitlin Ford. We picked her up in the last window. We're beginning to uh, make a bit of theme of this. So, uh, <laughs> Have you been able to speak to, to Caitlin yet? What did she have to say about Arsenal? Yeah, well, she's been sliding into my DMs a little bit and saying, any updates? What's going on? What's the word? Um, so, yeah, she was, she was excited when I told her it was finally done. And, um, yeah, she's basically just been really helpful in, you know, starting to set up life over there in London um, but yeah she, she's excited and I've heard there's a there's a few other Aussies that work within the group as well in the staff so um, yeah that's exciting. Fans who maybe haven't seen you in action before how would you describe your style of play and how are you expecting to fit into Arsenal's system based upon your, your conversations with Joe? Yeah I mean I would sort of just describe myself as uh, an attacking left fullback um, I started off my career as a midfielder, so um, that sort of never left me. I love getting forward and um, being creative and being part of the, you know, in the final third. Um, so, yeah, I would say an attacking fullback and just a player that loves to be on the ball. I love to, you know, keep the ball and, um, as I said before, be creative. So, mm. yeah. <laughs> And it goes without saying that our, our squad is stacked with, with quality in all departments. But are there any players in particular that you're excited to combine with on the pitch? Yeah, as you said, um, yes, the team is absolutely stacked. Uh, but I would say I've played with Kim Little before. Um, 
and she's just one of the best in the world. And, you know, I enjoyed my time playing with her when I was a lot younger. So um, I'm excited to see where she's at now and uh, combine with her again. And also uh, Jen Beatty, I've played with her before and she's just world class and one of my favourite centre backs to play alongside. So I'm excited to play with her too. And finally, just how excited are you to put on that Arsenal shirt for the very first time? <laughs> well, I have it on now, but for an actual match day, oh, unbelievably excited. I feel like with, you know, this is my first taste of European football. There's just so much to look forward to and so many big occasions to come. So can't wait to get started. Thank you, Steph. Thank you.